Hello everyone, this is Puka and welcome to round 7 of the Illinois State Championship. We have a battle here between two undefeated players. They are 6-0 and at this point and they've both been on camera already. So we'll see which one can remain the king or queen of the camera so far. On the right we have Alyssa Dobbs who won an exciting game against Yoshi Tate in an earlier round. And on the left we have Tom Stanky who has honestly been the star of the tournament so far. He's been on camera like three times to this point. He's won every single match. And we'll see if he can keep his streak going here as he goes up against Alyssa. Now this will be a Garbodor Landers Mewtwo deck for Tom versus the Darkrai Sableye deck of Alyssa. And they're going to roll, shake hands, and we'll see how this one plays out. It's an interesting matchup. I'm not sure who's actually the favorite here. It could just be one of those lovely 50-50 matchups where you don't know who is honestly expected to win. But Tom is going to start off with that Landorus EX, which does 30 for one energy with Hammerhead and 32 bench Pokemon. But since there's no bench Pokemon, it'll just do 30. Gets an EV Light on his Landorus and plays a Hypnotoxic Laser. And, oh, puts it to sleep as well. So just for that item card, he's going to poison and put that Sableye to sleep and do 30 damage, which is big. It now makes it so Hammerhead only needs two attacks due to that additional poison damage, and oh no, turn one, the Sableye stays asleep. Oh, that is one of the worst things you could see if you're Alyssa, and that is just a painful, painful start for her. No doubt about that. So she is going to be playing an Ultra Ball here, discard another Ultra Ball, and a random receiver. We'll have to see what she gets with that, but oh, you know, as the Dark Rye player, you want to be able to use that Junk Hunt on the first turn. It allows you to get back your crucial item cards uh, and kind of almost, I don't want to say guarantee, but it highly improves your odds of getting a turn two Night Sphere, which is what you're going for with a Dark Ride deck. It takes three energy, but with the use of that item Dark Patch and Energy Switch, you can pull that off fairly easily most of the time. And uh, if you cannot use Junk Hunt, though, it's a different story. Or even if your Sableye gets knocked out, it's a different story. Basically, you want to have your Sableye survive the turn, and you want to be able to use Junk Hunt. Uh, and I don't think either of those are going to happen here. But she does put down a Calvio EX, also puts down another Sableye, uh, anticipating that she might need to, uh, to use one next turn. And, uh, you know, normally I would say, oh, that's not a good move. You know, you shouldn't put down an extra Sableye. It's a, it's a free prize for your opponent. But in this situation, I actually think this was the correct thing to do. Uh, it just... It seems like no matter what's going to happen, she's going to have to use Junk Hunt again because she's going to be behind. She's going to be behind on those energy attachments. And this, you know, you normally think of Darkrai as a fast deck, but what can happen if your Sableye gets knocked out early on is you could just, you know, have to attach to your Sableye every turn and you just cannot ever build up three energy on your Darkrai if your Sableye keeps getting knocked out. And it looks like that's might that what, uh, that looks like, that's what might be happening here. All right, got that all figured out. Uh, she's going to put a Dark onto the Caldeo EX. That's a, a nice move. She can rush in and retreat and remove the poison damage if she wants. Or she can just rush in and pass with the Caldeo active. That also wouldn't be a bad move. Um, give yourself, you know, I mean, have the Caldeo take the hit for 30. But she's actually just going to retreat back to Sableye. Uh, I guess there's no harm in that. Because, you know, Sableye is going to get knocked out regardless. She rushes in, retreats for free with Darkrai's Dark Cloak, gets rid of the poison. And uh, it honestly looks like she has a really bad hand, unfortunately. And this could be one of those ugly games where just one side doesn't draw anything. Tom honestly hasn't drawn anything either, but he does have an end there. So that could change some stuff. Uh, but, but Tom's nothing beats Alyssa's nothing pretty much every time. Landris versus Darkrai. When there are no external factors and it's just Landris attacking versus Darkrai attacking, uh, Landris is going to win pretty much every time. And that's what we might be seeing here. Now he does have a heavy ball. He can grab three Pokemon out of his deck with that. Uh, either Landris, Terrakian, or Garbodor. Uh, I don't think he wants Garbodor here. But um, I don't know. Which one would you take here? You can only take a Pokemon with three retreat costs or higher. So it's only those three Pokemon. We might take another Landris. He decides to go with Terrakian, which is 
honestly Darkrai's biggest enemy. Um, if Tom can manage to power up a Terrakian with three energy, that's going to be huge. And he opted not to play a double colorless there. He's going to play an N before he attaches. He probably wants to get another fighting in play, not a double colorless. Um, you might want to just attach there. Make sure you get the attachment for the turn. But you are getting six cards, so, um, I mean, it's pretty likely you draw an energy. Uh, the conservative play is to just play the double colorless down. But it's definitely not a wrong play to go for the energy. Just something to think about. Now, uh, both players will shuffle in and draw six. Alyssa has to be very happy about that. Her hand was abysmal, and maybe this will give her new life. We see this happen a lot in this format. You know, N rejuvenates people uh, when you have a terrible hand, and um, we could just see that here, or she just could draw junk again. I don't know. <laughs> and, yeah, it looks like she drew junk again. Wow. But now, Tom, his hand is loaded with fighting energy and three double colors. <laughs> so he's going to attach to the Terrakian this turn. And boy, three of a kind. Not bad. At least they look pretty. And now he's going to be able to hammerhead for 30 and goes to 30 on the Keldeo as well. Uh, not a bad move. It's a weird decision of what you would want to take there. You could do Darkrai or Sableye to set up for some easy prizes later. Or Keldeo, since that's going to be the biggest pain in the butt to knock out. And if she starts attacking with Keldeo, that might be uh, what you need to go after. So uh, I don't mind hitting the Keldeo for 30. You can Secret Sword with 3 Dark Energy. It's not pretty, but you can do it, folks. And uh, I don't know. We'll see. Now we have a Dark Patch and an Energy Switch. But there's no Dark <laughs> in the discard pile. Oops, there was no Dark on that Sableye. If there were, she could have used Secret Sword for 80, and that would have been a huge play this turn, and now that kind of takes away her play for the turn. Um, and now um, she she probably asked Tom, could I take that back because I thought there was a Dark on the discard pile, and being the nice guy he is, he said, yes, I'll let you take that back. Uh, I don't actually think that matters. She could have just energy switched and then junk hunted anyway, but a uh, very nice gesture from Tom. You can see he's very laid back about this. Um, a very good player. And uh, he, he's very cool about everything. You know, he hasn't been cutting Alyssa's deck. Uh, he let her take back a move there. So uh, really nice to see that in what can sometimes be a cutthroat environment at these competitive tournaments. So uh, got to give it up to Tom for that. Now, what will Alyssa do on this turn? Uh, it's hard to tell. I mean, again, she has absolutely nothing in her hand. And, I mean, she could junk hunt, and she can actually get a random receiver. That's what she probably needs to do. But she's got a decision. Do I catch her, that Terrakian? Because the Landorus is poisoned, and if you cut out the Terrakian, you just get rid of the poison. But it might be worth it to prevent your opponent from being aggressive for a little while. If you're able to do that, uh, bringing up that Terrakian. And she's going to say, yes, I'm going to catch her up Terrakian. But uh, she's... Uh, she's also going to laser and poison the Terrakian. That's a big move as well. Puts it to sleep. Uh, this is kind of like a ticking time bomb kind of a scenario, though. Can she do something before Terrakian gets three energy? If not, oh boy, we're going to start seeing some land crushes. We're going to see some dark rise get shattered into pieces. And it's just not going to be a pretty sight. If she can start attacking before it gets three energy, it won't be so ugly. But I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Now, Tom drew a Juniper, which is a nice draw card. But, man, when you got three double colors in your hand, can you really afford to discard all three of those this turn? I don't know if you can. Uh, I think you may have to use that Skyla instead this turn. Kind of sit back. Uh, wait for a better time to Juniper. You want to be able to play those energy out. Those are just two crucial cards. Uh, two crucial of cards to discard like that. Discarding three energy doesn't seem like a big deal, but uh, double colorless is a very precious resource. It may not be in this matchup, but uh, in general it is to uh, power up Mewtwo. And we're going to see him grab an Ultra Ball with the Skyla, get rid of the Garbodor, and a double colorless. And he might be going for a Mewtwo just to drop some double colorless on that thing, since he's got two in his hand already. Uh, might as well just do that, I guess. Making the most of his situation. I couldn't tell if he had a Switch in his hand. 
if he does, that'll be a big play. He can switch into the Mewtwo, or uh, switch into the Landris, or I guess he could do Mewtwo as well. But probably Landris and then Hammerhead for 30 and 30 while powering up that Mewtwo on the bench. And yes, looks like he does have a switch. So he's going to be able to switch. Let's see which one he goes into. He's going into Mewtwo. Just wants to hit that Sableye hard right now. And he's going to X-Ball for 60. Not quite a knockout, but he is putting pressure on. And he is setting up for a Hammerhead knockout for later. You know, if he just hits anything for 30 and then hits the bench Sableye for 30 with Landris EX's Hammerhead, he will take one more prize and then only have to knock out two EX Pokemon to win the game. So here's the laser. Uh, looks like Alyssa gets tailed on that, but the Mewtwo will be poisoned. Someone's Pokemon has been poisoned every turn of this game so far. That is just the ridiculousness of laser. We have a Dark Claw onto the Darkrai. And it looks like she drew a supporter for the turn. I, I look looked like it. Couldn't quite tell. And we'll have to see how will she respond this turn. Um, I mean, with that Mewtwo out there, it makes attacking with Keldeo look like a pretty bad option. Just because, I mean, Keldeo only does 50 to Mewtwo. It's not like the water like Landorus. And X-Ball does a lot. I mean, all Tom would have to do is attach another double colorless, and he would do X-Ball for 140 if that Keldeo had three energy on it. So uh, we're going to see an energy switch on to Darkrai. Alyssa realizes, okay, I need to switch gears now. I cannot attack with Keldeo. That, that opportunity is gone. And here we see an N. She decided not to bench another Darkrai there. Uh, I'm not sure why she was holding it. I guess she could fear being catchered out or something like that. But it might be better to just bench it in that case. Um, I'm not really sure, but that's not a bad move, shuffling it in. It's always scary having a Keldeo, or having a Darkrai with zero energy out there when your opponent has catcher, especially with Landris. So I'm not sure. Uh, and now we'll see an N. Tom will draw five. Alyssa will draw six. Kind of a painful end because Tom only had two cards, but we did know that they were DC and Juniper, so not the biggest deal in the world. Um, maybe giving him a worse hand somehow with five new cards as opposed to two. And she will get a fresh six cards. And she's going to want... Uh, oh, that was actually quite a nice hand. Wow. Uh, she got an Ultra Ball. She's going to discard a Dark and probably the Random Receiver. And then she can Dark Patch and attach and pull off a Night Spear this turn. Wow. That is definitely a turn of events here. Just like that, there was no energy on that Dark Rise starting the turn. Um, she's going to discard her Ultra Ball, Dark, and N to get a Pokemon. But the important thing is getting the Dark Energy in the discard pile. That is what's being done here. To use Dark Patch, Dark Patch only gets energy from the discard pile, but allows you to bypass the one energy attachment per turn rule. You can grab a Dark Energy out of the discard pile, attach it to one of your Dark Pokemon. So she has used Energy Switch to move the Dark from Keldeo to Darkrai. She'll use Dark Patch to get that Dark out of the discard pile on to Darkrai, and then attach for the turn, retreat to Darkrai, and Night Spear for 110 damage this turn. Pretty big move. That is going to be kind of alarming for Tom here. Uh, it's, I mean, it looked like she was just struggling, uh, but this is just the power of Darkrai here. And now she's going to be able to Night Spear that Mewtwo for 110. And that'll be Poison as well. She'll be able to do 30 somewhere to the bench. Probably going to go after Terrakian, I would imagine. No real benefit of doing 30 to the Landris. Uh, I don't think so, at least. Uh, it'll only do 10 because of the Eviolite. And now we're going to see a Night Spear. That'll be 120 after the Poison and then 30 to the Terrakian. And how does Tom respond to this one? Now he could, you know, if he plays Energy Switch, this could be like a game-ending turn. If he can Skyla for Energy Switch, move it on to Terrakian, and then play another Fighting and Land Crush for 180, knocking out that Darkrai. That would be the power of Terrakian. But I don't know if he plays Energy Switch. I have not seen it in any of his games yet. And, yeah, I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and find out. But what will he do if he doesn't do that? And he could just go for a simple Hammerhead 
He could just X ball for 80, honestly. That would not be a bad move either. Just X ball, uh, put the Dark Rye up to 80 damage, and set it up for a knockout for anything else. He will play a Skyla, though. We'll see if he does play Energy Switch. If he does, that'll be a monumental turn for him. But no, he's going to play a Switch instead. Now, one thing he could do is switch into his Landorus and then attach a second Fighting Energy. Hammerhead for 60, knock out the Sableye. And then next turn, he's threatening the Land's Judgment for 160, knocking out that Darkrai. I feel like this is the strongest move he can make in this situation. So he is going to go ahead and switch. He could have just retreated as well. Um, I don't know if that Mewtwo is going to be too useful anymore. You got to maybe think that it's going to be knocked out. And, oh, he's actually going to max post it off. So a bit of an error there. Since you're going to remove the energy anyway, you might as well just retreat. Uh, you're going to discard the energy. Uh, kind of a waste of a switch there. So kind of a, a little bit of an oops. And I think he realized that. <laughs> he's laughing about it now. But, um, you know, it's a long day, a long tournament. And you're gonna, you're, you're not gonna be perfect, all right. Nobody's perfect at these tournaments, but he's still putting himself in a great position with this move. Uh, he's gonna hammerhead for 60, probably knock out the Sableye, and he is still at a tremendous advantage here as we head into kind of the middle part of this game. Alyssa to have a shot here. She's gonna have to start powering up a second Darkrai, that's for sure, because this active one is definitely going down. Uh, that max potion for Tom was huge as well. Healing off 120 damage. Uh, man, that just wiped out a whole turn of attacking. And took away two prizes off the board. And now Alyssa's going to have to work even harder just to take a single prize here. I mean, this is just brutal at this point. We do have a random receiver and a dark energy on to her bench, Darkrai. She's probably going to want a Juniper this turn. Uh, she reveals cards until she sees a supporter. She's revealing a lot of cards and gets an N. Oh, that's uh, that's not what she wanted to see. She actually discarded one before uh, uh, because she didn't want to play it. You know, Tom had such a bad hand, and she actually assumed she was going to draw two prizes. I think that's why she discarded the N before. But in this situation, definitely would have preferred a Juniper. Tom only had like a two, three-card hand, and it was filled with junk. So maybe this would be better for Tom now. Uh, however, he did have an energy in his hand, and now there's a possibility he won't draw one. So this could be a difference in the game. And can disrupt people, but when it's four cards, you got to think he's probably going to get an energy if he gets to play a supporter as well. But I don't know. We'll have to see. Tom, uh, I mean, things have not been going beautifully for him so far. But, I mean, all it takes is a lander sometimes to get yourself in a good position to win these games. And the first card is an energy, so he'll actually be fine. Uh, first or second card. But yeah, he'll be able to uh, land judgment for the knockout, go down to two prizes. That's huge. We do have a laser, though. This is the game changer. And tails, oh, man. Heads could have been huge. But even if she has a Verbank to go with it, that could be big in terms of setting up damage. Does she have the Verbank? Uh, I don't know. I can't really see it. She does have a dark patch. She should probably play that here. There's the dark in the discard pile. Might as well get an extra energy on your dark Darkrai. Set it up for next turn to Night Spear. She will be able to Night Spear in back-to-back -back turns and be able to knock out that Landers if nothing changes. So far, things are looking kind of ugly for her, but the downside is that she's out of ends at this point, I believe. Uh, she's going to be down four prizes. Uh, there's a Terrakian with one energy back there. That is the scariest part about all this. There is a Terrakian still sitting there saying, Hey, Darkrai, I'm here. I'm waiting for you to take a prize. And when you do, oh, man, I'm going to have some fun. Uh, Terrakian, if you don't know, has Retaliate. 30 plus 60 if your opponent knocks out your active Pokemon with an attack with damage. Uh, so the important thing to note there is from damage. If... Landris gets knocked out by Poison or from Verbank City Gym. Retaliate does not activate, which is kind of why Terrakin got a little bit weaker. But if Landris gets knocked out by a Night Spear, then Terrakin just needs one more energy. Hits for 90 times 2. Knocks out Darkrai in one hit, and the game is over. 
Now we do see a Night Spear. That'll do 90. I think there's only already 20 on the Dark Eye, so it'll go up, or on the Landris, so it'll go up to 120 after the Poison. And now Tom's got a decision to make. Uh, he does get to draw a card for the turn. I think, uh, oh, he's going to put 30 on the Mewtwo as well. But now, I mean, it's a pretty easy decision, I would think. Just attach to your active and lands judgment for the knockout. He gets a Garbodor into play. Uh, I don't know if he needs to put that down at this point. It actually might be a liability more than anything. Because, I mean, uh, he's got a max potion the Mewtwo again. Uh, but uh, the Garbodor has a three retreat cost. It might buy some time for Alyssa. It could actually, worst case scenario, be like... Um, a way for her to come back if Tom is out of switches, but he's not. Um, but, you know, one way for Garbodor decks to lose is Garbodor gets stuck active and you can't ever retreat it. It happens a lot more than you would think. But I don't think that'll be the case here. It looks like he's taken enough prizes and still has enough switches left to pull this game out. So we see a Skyla. He's going to grab a Juniper with that. He played a Heavy Ball for another Landris as well. And now we're going to see just Landris chopping down a dark guy here with Land's Judgment. Uh, he's going to take two more prizes. Tom will be at two. Alyssa will be at six. And unfortunately, she's used quite a few ends already. The only good part about this is that, you know, uh, she will have another dark guy attacking this turn. But I don't know if you can classify that as a good part <laughs> at this point. I mean, just look at everything. Uh, if if she knocks out the active landers, all it takes is one fighting energy, or one any energy, actually. And Terrakian knocks her out for the game. Tom has actually put her in almost a lock. You know, if she doesn't knock out the active landers, it's just lands judgment, game over. If she does knock out the landers, it's just attach, retaliate, game over. So this has been very well orchestrated by Tom. He has set this up beautifully. That no matter what Pokemon Alyssa goes after, she is not going to be able to pull this off. She's not going to be able to avoid a knockout unless Tom misses an energy. That is her only hope at this point. So she's going to put a Dark Claw on her Dark Cry. Another way to get around this could have been Eevee Light, I suppose, but nowadays people play Dark Claw instead. Um, and she's going to kind of look at it, and she's probably going to realize that, ugh. What do I do here? I mean, I walk into Retaliate. I walk into Land's Judgment. I walk into everything here. My poor, poor Darkrai, even though it has 180 hit points, will not survive here. Uh, just does not look like it. We do see a Bianca for three. She's going to need an energy to attack this turn as well. And, uh-oh, she does not get the energy, but she does have a combination of cards to pull off an attack. She has, she can rush in with Caldeo. Uh, she gets a Verbank as well. That would have been very useful the previous turn. But um, she can rush in with Caldeo. Double Dark Patch to her Dark Eye and then Energy Switch a Dark Active. Uh, and then Retreat for free and attack with her Dark Eye. So she can still pull off an attack here. Um, we'll see if she sees this combination of cards here. She does have everything in order to be able to attack. But no, she actually passes. And now it's just going to be a land's judgment for the game. But we see Tom had the fighting in his hand anyway. So that is just going to be the game. There's already 30 on the Caldeo from earlier. Land's judgment does 150. Um, and that's it. That's the game. Tom Stanky will move on to 7-0 and here at the Illinois State Championship. Very well played by both players. But Tom is the one who is going to move on and keep his streak alive on camera. Well done, Tom. Uh, and we'll be seeing him again for round number eight. There are eight rounds in the top 16 here, folks. So we'll have him again one more time. Garbador coming out of nowhere and making an impact here at the state championship. So thanks, guys, for watching. I'm Puka here from the Top Cut. We'll have some more coverage for you soon, and I'll see you guys next time.